Hi, Sharon Danny here with another Two Minute Tips. This week it's about the looks behind the mask. Throughout my life I've loved to play around with character looks, etc. And in the latter stages of my career I worked uh, in film and television and worked on a show called Air Farce, which in Canada is the equivalent of the U.S.'s Saturday Night Live. And I, my main character or that I worked with was Ellen Park, a comedian, and one of the looks that we did was uh, Barack Obama. And in fact, when we were in, I believe it was the Winnipeg Comedy Festival, and he was there as Barack Obama, uh, you know, a couple of people even thought it really was the president. So that's the best compliment any makeup artist can get. I'll show you a couple of pictures. And here's the dude today. And here he is back about 2011 or so as Barack Obama and when I had brunette hair. And here we both are with gray, but still hanging in there. And here's Lady Gaga, Ella Allen, as well as the ShamWow guy and so many more characters. For the 45 plus group and Halloween, I have done some research uh, through Google and YouTube and you know social media trying to find some looks for the 45 plus group uh, that aren't violent, aren't monsters, aren't sexually objectifying, aren't evil, aren't all of those things. I wanted to make them something that you know you feel good about wearing. And for our age group, we have different needs. So um, as far as makeup or our approach to makeup is concerned. So needless to say, I've had to come up with some that are reminiscent of other characters, but then I've had to do mashups as well. And here's just a couple of pics of what I used. As you can see, it's face paint, uh, brushes, sponges, water to apply with, but I found later I like the powders better. And here we have hair padding and extensions, and I'll put a link in the description box for you regarding how to use these. Okay, with that said, first out of the shoot is the Queen of Hearts. After I got my foundation on, I started making guidelines for the green eyeshadow. As you can see here, I'm applying it. It's a face paint with water activated and just applied right within the guidelines. And this is the end result of that approach. Then I used a black uh, face paint and a very fine brush to create the eyebrows. And then I added uh, eyelashes to the lower um, lash line as well as the top lash line. And what's a beauty queen without a beauty mark? So there's a little mark I'm putting on with just a pencil and the lips making them heart shaped. Not an easy task but I did it. And to the hair, where backcombing is really big for this updo. As you can see, it's full and it needs all the help I can give it. So I used worn out scrunchies as hair padding on either side, then backcombed the hair up over top and secured it with the long roller pins because they secure so well. And then I smushed and moved and reshaped and did everything that I needed to do to get it the shape to look like a heart for the Queen of Hearts. Next we're visiting the French court of the 1700s. Not claiming at all to look like Marie Antoinette, but of the flavor of that day where the skin was very pale, the cheeks were pink, and the eyes were pretty neutral except the brows were natural and full. And to make my eyes look more rounded, I just put eyeliner in brown in the top and the bottom, and then just added powder as a lip color for that era. No bird cages in this do, just a couple of worn out scrunchies used as hair padding over top of a ponytail. Then all the hair around is back combed and combed up and secured in place with the roller pins and smoothed accordingly. Then the piece de resistance is to add a couple of hair extensions to complete the look of that era. Then 1700s French court look. 
And for the third in this particular video, I've done a mashup of the, the Queen in Snow White and other kind of Disney characters along the way. Oh, and I have to say, in my research for this, I've, I tip my chapeau to Disney and the animators there throughout the history of uh, Disney. Most of the time, they've given the older woman, uh, who, whether evil or whatever, not made her look really ugly, but made her look older, but with some style. And I have to say, I really appreciate that. So this particular couple of looks is about, one is a, what I would call the schoolmarm, and the other is, as I said, the mashup of the, 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 the queen. Uh, and in both cases, it's the same makeup with some slight adjustments, but the costuming and hairstyle and facial expression are what help bring the character to life. Ah, the stern school marm with those wicked brows. Once I powdered my face down and worked with several things to get it the way I needed, I blocked out my brows and created these character eyebrows. Then I continued to fix what I needed to with the face and then added the teal eyeshadow in face paint first, but then added powder over top, which I think worked better. Eyeliner and theatrical lashes finished the look and then the lipstick, which I made a little bit smaller than my own mouth. And we have this character now with a different look with no hairstyle required for this one just a hood and a veil and it's all set. That's it for this video and I will be putting up another one next week uh, for the other three characters that I created. In the meantime, enjoy your day wherever you are as I'm going to with my caffeine and a no makeup face. We'll see you next time.